Meet Maggie. She's a cat. She's actually the youngest in my little pride of kitties. I'm gonna let her go. And uh, she's as adorable as can be. But I use her just to make a brief example. Don't worry, I'm not going to actually use her to illustrate this example. The importance of falling. Falling is really probably the most useful, the most broadly applicable, and the most real life applicable skill that you learn in martial arts training. Falling could not be more important. In all of life, life's really not all that violent. And in all of life, you have a much greater chance of falling than you do of getting into a fight, of being assaulted, getting raped, mugged, whatever. Much, much greater chance of falling. Tripping, slipping, just falling, forgetting that gravity exists, whatever. You know, <clears throat> being able to do so safely is incredibly important because you don't want to be one of those people that you fall and you break a hip, you fall and twist your ankle, whatever. To an extent, there are going to be circumstances where the fall is out of your control and you have to correct yourself mid-fall. Yes, it is possible. It takes a lot of training, a lot of specific training, but it is possible. It's even possible to learn how to fall around things. Unfortunately, the training is not comfortable because you have to fall. And you have to be able to fall in prescribed methods. You're going to learn hard methods. You're going to learn soft methods. You're going to learn rolling. You're going to learn splatting, as I call it, you know, the, the classical spread. It's what cats do. It's the reason I use the cat as an example. Cats roll in the air, and at the end, they flare up. It actually slows their descent a bit, and it spreads out the impact area. Now, splatting, as I call it, the cat fall, is actually a harder way to fall than rolling through. Wow, thanks, doggy. Dogs don't fall well. Dogs don't fall well at all. Dogs just kind of crumple and kablooey, you know? But, um, you know, this is not an instructional video. Uh, the instructional video for falling will be coming uh, within the next couple of weeks, I assume. Uh, it depends on the schedule and all. But just start looking into methods of falling. The, you know, the Japanese ukemi methods are great. The, the Russian methods of, of rolling through and soft falling, waving your body through so that you have a progressive area of impact as opposed to one hard area of impact. They're all valid. And, you know, the softer methods, you will take less damage, but they require more focus. They require more corrective in motion ability. Uh, the hard falls will teach you basically just to, oh no, I'm falling, make the surface area big. That's useful and helpful too. Wow, thanks, dog. Sorry for the moving camera tonight. The dog is excited about a ball. But, ball, mine now. So, that's really actually about it. Just start considering falling, contemplating falling. Falling should be among your very first lessons anywhere. Any kind of movement ability that you need, falling and rolling need to be in your very first lessons. They're certainly among the first in my curriculum. I can't speak for anybody else. I learned them very early on when I was a beginner student as well. And so just consider that. Learn to fall safely and keep an eye out. Learn how to keep your balance and when you lose it, take the hit well. And don't go complaining to somebody so you can get extra money. Fuck that noise. Good journey.